Hello and welcome to this web snippet on Workgroup PDM revision schemes. If we have a quick look in my SolidWorks vault, you'll see that I've got a series of projects here, each of which has a different revision scheme as its title. So we have Alpha and Numeric, Alpha Numeric and Numeric Alpha, Tertiary and Zero Alpha. Now what I'm going to do is going to run through these schemes with the assemblies that are in them uh, and just show you how they work and how we set them up. So if we go back to the uh, Vault Admin uh, window, we're on the revision scheme and what you can see on your screen here is uh, the Alpha revision scheme. So we just have a single uh, revision entity which is the primary revision and it's a range from A to Z. Very nice and simple, very easy to use. If I check this uh, document out, then what you'll see, File, Save and Check-in. If I select the entity for check-in, we're going to get used to this error box because I'm not going to make any changes, so it's just to show the revisions counting up. You'll notice that my revision has changed from A to B. I've got no other options. I've only got B, but I don't have uh, overwrite last revision or any of that turned on, so my only option is B. Check that in, and we can see it updates from A to B. And obviously that continues C, D, E, F, G. If we jump in and do the same with the numeric now, first of all what we need to do is change this from letters to numbers, so we change that from 01 and that to 99. Quick point of note, when you're doing numbers, you've got to have the same number of numbers in the from box as the to box. So you can have 1 to 9, 01 to 99, 001 to 999, and so on. Um, and that's how the ranges work. So you can't have 1 to 99 without using a listing and then typing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. You can copy these listings in from Excel or another program to make the generating of the list a little bit quicker. If I apply that, so we're now using a numeric numbering system, what I'll do is I'll grab Gearbox 2 and then check that back in again. Tick the box and we now see we've got revision gone from revision 1 to revision 2 and again I don't have any options. Now Numeric and Alpha are the simplest um, possible revision schemes and a lot of people use them. However, sometimes you want to have intermediary changes, in which case these won't work because you can't go from A to B, you want to go to A in a bit. There are two ways of doing that, the first of which is called Working Copy, which is this box here on the end. Now, what that does is it allows you to put in some text, I mean by default it's plus Working Copy, but you can have anything you like. just as a, as a reference to show that it's in working copy and essentially what this means is that you are making changes to the revision but you haven't finished them yet so it's kind of like revision and a half if that makes sense but you only get one working copy stored in the vault uh, for reference later so sometimes that's not suitable and that's where we come into having say alphanumeric or numeric alpha revisions so if we go and have a look at alphanumeric first we'll change the primary range to a A to Z We'll change the secondary range from 01 to 99, choose that as a range, and we're going to choose a separator to go between them. So rather than everything being bunched together, we're going to put a hyphen between them. And then we're going to choose to apply that. If I then come in and I open up Gearbox 3, my alphanumeric one, we can see our revisions here currently at A hyphen 01. If I then decide to check that in, when I decide to check it in, we it automatically defaults to A02, so it's up revising the secondary component, so from 01 to 02. But I do have the option to go to B01 instead, which is useful. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose A02 and choose check in, and we can see it updating over here. So that's very nice and simple and gives us 99 possible revisions between A and B, hopefully more than anybody's ever going to need but that's the number we've given ourselves. If I switch this round and we have a look at uh, numeric alpha, so in this case we're going to go from 01 to 99 and we're going to go from A to Z. Different people like to use it different way around. We're also going to change the separator to a, to a dot just to something different. I'm also going to tick this box down here, last revision type optional. Hit apply. Now if I pull out gearbox 4 we can see we're currently at 01.a. Open and check that out. When I go to check this back in, I've got an additional option. 
it automatically defaults to O1B, but I can choose to go straight to O2. So what it's doing is it's dropping the secondary component in order to give me a slightly different revision. Some people don't like the display O2.01 or .A as their first revision because it looked, some people think it looks like there's already been a change. So we've got that option. And then when I check that in, you can see we've got O2. So we've dropped the .A completely. If I go to check this in again, you'll see I've got the option to choose O3 or O2A to make a small sub-revision. So I've got both of those options once I go up the step. So that's last revision type optional. And that applies to any uh, revision scheme that's got more than one joined component. Uh, so if I close Gearbox 4, what we're going to have a look at now is a revision scheme which I've called Zero Alpha. Now Zero Alpha is where people want to have an alpha scheme with a secondary component or even without a secondary component. I mean, I've used one in my example. Um, but they don't want the first revision to be A. They want the first revision to be something that's in development to show it's not something that's been released to manufacture. Now we can't actually put any text or any letters on the front of this. So what we can do is we can create a listing. So in this case what I did is I used 0, A, B, C, D, E, O, E, F and obviously I can carry on up to Z. I'm not going to because that's not what you're watching this for and I'm going to make that a listing. Now listings can consist of anything so actually I could not have a numerical range here I could have anything I like so I could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or we can have something completely different we could have days of the week, months of the year, anything. Um, I'm going to turn off last revision type option I don't need it in this example and hit apply. So if I pull out my gearbox five and save that or save and check that in at the moment it's listed as zero what we can do is we could do sort of development revisions and again we've got a possibility of 99 development revisions so we can go zero zero one zero zero two zero zero three until we're ready to release it completely uh, to manufacture in which case it will go to a zero one to say this is the first manufactured release and that's what I'm going to do in this in this case. But that enables you, or the listings enables you, to create series of revisions which are not simple ranges. And there we can see it's gone to A01. So it's joined, even though it's the second revision, it's joined sort of a more standard scheme where, like we might see with our alphanumeric here. Now the last system is the t that I'm going to show you is the tertiary system. Now this is... Uh, a little bit more complicated. Again, we're going to go back to ranges just because they're easier to type. We're also going to have fill in the third box, and that's going to go from A to Z again. Now, essentially, this means we've got three columns to fill in. Again, we can use it with last revision type optional, but in that case, we'll only be able to drop the tertiary revision. We can't drop both tertiary and secondary. So we'll hit apply to that. I'm going to pull out gearbox six. We can then see how it's at the moment, A hyphen O one dot A. When I decide to check this in, if I tick that, we then it automatically defaults again to changing the last revision to A one A O one B. And you can see I've got three options now A O one B, A O two A, and B O one A. So if I'm gonna revise this a couple of times just so you can see it, we'll go A O one B choose check in I can then choose to check this in at C and the reason I'm doing this a couple of steps each time is just so you can see how things are changing I'm then going to say right actually it's time now to move up a bit further this is now going to become AO2 in which case you can see here that it has reset to A in the third column Tick the box. That's now jumping to AO2B. 
and then I might finally say, right, we're finished about finished with messing around with this in the design office. We want to throw this out and make this a full revision. We'll go all the way up to B. And then when I go to B, you can see both of the other columns reset back to their default values of 0, 0, 1 and A. And so we can continue this with the tertiary as far as we want. The only box I haven't mentioned so far is sequential revisioning. Now, this is either used with lifecycle or alongside lifecycle, sort of replacing it. Um, and if you choose sequential revisioning, I'm going to have to remove my tertiary column because my tertiary column matched my primary column. Everything would have gone a bit uh, peaked on. We hit apply. You'll notice it removes the separator because we're going to be using either the primary or the secondary box. Um, you'll also notice I can't tick both of these boxes at once. Uh, I've got it's a one or the other option. Uh, so I'm going to hit apply there. Um, I'm going to come back to my alpha um, option because this is at the moment it's using a primary uh, alpha revision. It's going to move to a secondary numeric revision. So if I if I open up gearbox one, it's currently at revision B. Check that out. Do file save and check in. And we've got an option here to check in at C, uh, which I'm going to do. So we can see that ticking up, just under standard numeric uh, alpha style revision. But what I can do is I can actually choose to jump in and now switch this from an alpha revision to a numeric revision. So I choose revision 01. And I check that in. And we can now see we're in a numeric revision. and I don't have the option of going back to the alpha so it's kind of like a release process uh, and that's what we're trying to mimic with the sequential revisioning like I said it's often used alongside the lifecycle functionality within workgroup so as a bit of a, a summary we've got alpha schemes A, B, C, D numeric schemes 1, 2, 3, 4 alpha numeric schemes A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3 or if we use last revision type optional we can get A, A1, A2, B, B1, B2 numeric alpha schemes which are the reverse of alpha numeric uh, zero alpha where we use some listings to enable us to get um, sets of revisions that not don't exist in a single range so in this case 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, A, uh, A1, A2 um, and then finally we have tertiary schemes where we use all three columns and mix and match between them so as you can see a couple of examples there A01A, A01B, A02A and B01A all of those can be used with uh, working copy anything that uses more than one column primary and secondary, primary, secondary, tertiary can be used with last revision type optional to drop the last revision be it secondary or tertiary and then you've also got uh, sequential uh, schemes where it looks a little bit like the alphanumeric or the numeric alpha actually within the tool but it works like an alpha scheme followed by a numeric scheme thank you very much for watching